Welcome back. My name is Darren Cabral. As always, I'm the CEO of Suit Social. We're a digital marketing agency that helps companies build their brand, generate more leads, and make more sales online. Today, we're talking about copy, specifically sales copy, the text in your ads, and is it the secret to insane ROAS or return on ad spend or return on investment? Whatever the point is, is good sales copy the way you make more money with your ads? And honestly, I think yes. I think it's one of the biggest factors in the success of your ads, but it's the second biggest factor. So I will preface this by saying, in my opinion, when it comes to social media ads, specifically Facebook ads, Instagram ads, TikTok ads, any of that stuff, creative is number one. Copy is definitely a close number two, but obviously the visual, the graphic, whatever you're gonna use, creative to me is number one. If you don't have that, it doesn't matter what you put in the copy. But there's a lot of advertising platforms like Google, like if you're running Google search ads, it's text only, right? And so copy is critical. But overall, to me, copy is the easiest thing to influence to get a better result. It's the easiest thing to test. And so let's talk about today how you can improve your sales copy in your ads to get a better result. A lot of times I've run ads and I've had them stop working. I've been able to revamp them and get a new result just by changing some of the ad copy. And the way that we usually like to do that when it comes to things like, let's say Facebook ads, for example, is to constantly be testing. So if we build out an ad campaign and has a certain type of headline and body copy, I'm always running a split test, trying to find the next best thing to beat what we already have. So whatever's running here, I'll run a test right beside it. If it gets a better result, we'll switch to that. If it doesn't get a better result, I'll test new copy. Some of the things you want to think about when you're writing ad copy to get better results to get a higher ROAS is make sure you have a couple key components. So in your headlines, you wanna make sure that you can use multiple headlines if possible. Most platforms now allow this. Facebook lets you put in three, four, or five different headlines. Make use of that. Don't just put one headline and wait. Try different things and Facebook will help you determine which headlines are resonating best with your customer, with your audience. Use things also that hook your customers in. Don't just do basic, boring, descriptive headlines and descriptive, um, I know it's in the name, descriptions. Make things pop. Think about your customer's pain points. Think about a thing that's going to shock them and kind of stop them. Um, I used to call them scroll stoppers. Like when I'm scrolling in my feed and I'm like, whoa, what's that? Like think of it from that perspective. If you're a plumbing company, don't just say like, you know, your local trusted plumbing company, inquire now. Like that's not hooking anybody. Like put something in there that's going to grab their attention. And part of that is knowing your customer, knowing their problems, knowing what they're thinking about and crafting copy that's actually going to fit that and solve those problems. The other thing is when you're actually writing the body copy, like the text in your ad itself, test short and long copy. Because I've oftentimes found that it makes a big difference and it's never the same answer. Some people say, oh, always use long copy. Some people say, always use short. It really depends. I've tested it a thousand times with clients or ourselves. Sometimes long copy is a solution. Sometimes it's short. I always test both. So I'll write a long format version of my ad and then I'll cut it down and condense it and I'll usually test those against each other. Um, and you'll oftentimes find one performs a lot better than the other one. And overall, like the important thing to remember is copy is critical to your ad's performance because your image and your video might be the thing that stop people initially. That's what they're gonna engage with. That's why it's so important. Like it needs to still look good for people to actually stop and read it. But once they actually stop and start reading, the copy is what's gonna sell. Either the copy's gonna land or it's not. You're either gonna hit or you're gonna miss. And so that's why it's so important to have that copy that's really gonna resonate, that is interesting, that is relevant to your customer's problems. But one of the biggest things you can do in your copy, and this is the biggest mistake I see companies make and the thing they miss, is when you're actually writing out, so you know we talk about headlines and all that, but when you write the actual body copy, like the long format text underneath your ad, make the above the fold portion the most important part. Make sure that if they just read the portion above the fold, they're gonna get the core of your message. And when I say above the fold, if you've seen a Facebook ad many times, like Instagram ad, whatever, you'll see if it's long copy, you have to click like learn more or keep reading to open the full thing up don't put your important messaging in that section that they have to open up because 98% of people won't. Well, just read the little bit that shows up initially. And if you don't have a clear message in that portion, you're gonna miss a ton of customers and you're gonna have a very high balance rate of people that just scroll right through, never read, never get your full message because most people will not open the ad and read the full thing unless you entice them in that intro line. And that's what we call above the fold. Just like on a website, 
People talk about like having the important message on your website above the fold. So as soon as I land on your website, the first thing I see, that tells me what you do. It's the same thing with your ads. Don't make them click that little like learn more or expand button to read the whole thing because they're not gonna do it. Make sure your important message is at the top. So make sure you have those, you know, those cool, relevant, punchy headlines. Make sure you have your important message above the fold. Test your long and short body copy. These are all things you're gonna wanna do when it comes to running your ads that are gonna impact your return on ad spend. And you're probably wondering like how much of a difference does this actually make? I've had campaigns run that we were literally getting, you know, cost per lead of $100 a lead, right? $100 a lead consistently, just couldn't get improved, change your creative, change your targeting, couldn't get lower than $100 a lead, and my target was like 40, so we were way off. Ran that for about a month. I started to mess with copy, and I made one change to the headline. I put one extra word, and I think it was mentioning a guarantee, a 90-day guarantee. And that was in the body copy, it was the bottom, nobody read it. I put in the headline, and we got our cost per lead down to almost $20 a lead. That's like $80 cheaper because I changed one word in the headline. The creative was the same, everything else was the same. So it has a big impact and it's the easiest thing to change because if you put out a video in your ad and it's not working, it's a little harder to go shoot the whole video out again. It's very easy to go in and just test headlines, test body copy. And so that's why I think it's one of the most important parts of managing your ROAS and getting a good ROAS from your advertising. So an important part of getting a proper return on investment from your ads is your ad copy and it's something that we focus on a lot here. So hopefully that helps you improve your ad copy, get a better return on your investment from your ads, and you can implement some of those strategies in your own advertising. And of course, if you need help, as always, check us out at www.suitsocial.com. We'd be happy to learn more about your business and see maybe how we can help improve some of your advertising, get you a better ROI, and build out a more profitable system for you and your company. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.